Hello everyone, Antibody here, bringing you another dual commentary. This time we're going to be looking at the map Arawak, which I've actually never commentated before. Uh, we're going to be watching Circuity duel Nifrik, and we're going to be spectating or following Circuity throughout the match. So, Arawak is uh, also known as Hub uh, by some folks, uh, but it's, it's nothing new. It's been around since Quake 1, and... It's still there today in Quake Live. You can still see the pros play it. I'm sure you can still see pros play it in Quake World too, but that's besides the point. Anyway, it's a it's a tight map that feels a little bit bigger than it actually is because of all the warp zones there. But um, it'll be a great match. So let's see what happens. Three, two, Once again, we're following Circuity as he spawns up near the rocket. Uh, on the upper level, looks like Nifrik has possession of the Mega Hull to get things started, whereas Circuity has the Mega Armor. Look at how both of these players are are moving around the map so smoothly. They know the spawn points. They're firing off uh, spam rockets and spam mortars to uh, to try to get some damage done without getting any damage dealt to themselves. Uh, but you could definitely tell the knowledge of the map that these two players have. One unique thing about Xenotic in this map is the Kirby Rockets, which weren't around in Quake and certainly weren't around in most Nexius competitive configs. But in Xenotic, our XPM uh, settings have Kirby Rockets in them, which, which gives us some distinctive gameplay in that places that were once safe are not safe anymore because you can curve rockets around the corners and... Uh, avoid damage while, while dealing damage. That's kind of the name of the game. So we're still at 0, zero with 850 remaining in the game. Looks like we're going to have a contest over the Mega Armor. Circuity goes down. Nifra gets the first frag in this match. Looks like Circuity's quickly recovered, picking up a Nex. Slowly working his way around, trying to feel out where, where Nifrik is. Great shots there. The Mega Health is up. Looks like Nifrik has got it again. It's a showdown in the middle. Another good uh, aspect of this map in terms of um, dueling. <laughs> and Circuity picks up his first frag, but... Sadly, he's unable to get to the Mega Armor because he's down so low. And Nifrik comes back and picks up another frag. Nifrik is now up 2-1. to one. But what I was going to say is, um, what makes this map uh, a little bit more interesting is the quantity of the 25 healths and the shards around here. There's, there's an awful lot of 25 healths. So even if uh, an opponent gets you down to, say, 30 HP, you still have a chance because there's so many of them around. You get back up to 100 pretty quickly. And as I say this, uh, Nifrik's just been steadily doing some damage and got Circuity down to 10 and then picks up another frag. 4-2 to two with 7.20 remaining in the match. Circuity stealing the Mega Health, backing away cautiously. He only has a shotgun. Now he's picking up a mortar. One funny thing to note that I've uh, I've seen Circuity do before is he will fake laser up over near the top of the mega armor, and uh, you know it's like a like a ruse trying to get um, his opponent to come out, saying like, "Oh hey, here I am, I'm getting the mega armor." Just kidding, not really. As Circuity goes down again, six to three, but he's able to pick up a mega armor here. And see what happens. Nifrik doing some great splash damage. <laughs> Peeking out between those grates over there. Good protection, but still letting you do some great damage there. 7 to 3. Nifrik in the lead with 6.15 remaining. Nifrik's wandering around up top. He now has a rocket and a Nex. Oh, good. A great double shot in there. 
Nifrik went down, but it looks like it's going to be counted as a suicide there. So instead of 8-3, to three, it is 7-3 now. With about 5.45 remaining. Zerkety has a decent stack. He should push now. He's being a little cautious. Oh, and he just barely misses the mega health, and he pays for it. Nifrik gets another frag. It's now 8-3 to three with 5.5 minutes remaining. I don't know how he missed that mega health there. Let's chalk it up to nerves. So, back to business. Playing around the little pillar there. There's those curvy rockets that I was talking about earlier. Nifrik's able to curve a rocket right up in a spot, right into Circuity's face. Getting another frag out of it, 9 to 3. This is another great map um, due to its tight corridors for the electro combo. And by electro combo, I mean firing off the secondary electro balls and detonating them with the primary. In these corridors, the splash damage is great. Oh, a little bit of an awkward fight in a tight corridor. Both shots missing. Ah, there's an excellent use of that Electro combo, and he doubles it up with a next. Great combination by Circuity there. Nifrik has to be low. Let's see if Circuity can, can grab a frag out of this. He's able to sneak a Mega Health. He's looking in decent shape to, to challenge Nifrik to pick up some frags, and he's going to need it. It's 350 remaining in this match, and Nifrik still has a pretty solid lead at 9-3. to three. Picking up that Mega Armor again. Another thing to note with these guys is they absolutely know where their secondary mortars are detonating. You'll see them bounce it off the corners um, to try to get some some spam, as they call it. You know, where you're just tossing splash weapons out in hopes for some damage. But it's not in that they are spamming. It's exactly where they're spamming. Um, these two people know their spots, basically. And Circuity also knows his finishing weapons. Note that he did switch to the shotgun um, to finish Nifrik off in that case. So at this point, he's up to five frags. So not too far behind. Nifrik's still in the lead, nine to five. Two minutes and 45 seconds remaining. And he's fully stacked, and he's on the hunt. You can tell he is walking around this map with a purpose. Well, he's not walking. He's flying around this map. Play a little, uh, play a little dance at the teleporter, and Nifrik goes down. Circuit's slowly climbing back. He has possession of both the Mega Health and the Mega Armor. He's trying to zero in on Nifrik here. He's got him in a good spot. Oh, midair mortar, nice. Trying to follow it up with another frag. But he's wise not to pursue too much. Nifrik was able to pick up a Nex on that exchange. Nifrik's, I mean, uh, Circuity is only one frag down now. Pretty impressive. 9-8, 1 minute and 45 seconds remaining. You can see the, the intense concentration in and purpose in Circuity's movement. It's now a little bit more tense, tight moving, and as he ties it up, 130 remaining. Tie game. Oh, Nifrik pulls that one off in the base in a little bit of an awkward fight. One minute remaining. Circuity's down only by one. Anything could happen at this point. One minute oh! 
He pulls off with a rocket hit. Ties it up. 10-10 with only 55 seconds remaining. Awesome. And he pulls out another frag. 11 to 10. Circuity's on a roll. Let's see if he can continue. 35 seconds to go. One frag lead. It's really anybody's game. Circuity does have a pretty full stack, though. Twenty seconds. Oh, unbelievable! With just about eleven seconds remaining, Nifrik pulls out another frag to tie it up at eleven. This one's likely going into overtime, and we are in overtime. So the rules of overtime are it's just two extra minutes. There's no sudden death. Um, it's pretty much a regular duel uh, from here until the two-minute mark is exhausted. So no surprises there, really. There's that fake laser I was talking about earlier. Hoping to draw Nifrik out over near the Mega Armor. Dealt a little bit of damage there. Ooh, excellent sh excellent peak shot by, by Nifrik there as he picks up a frag. 12 to 11. One minute and 23 seconds left in this first overtime. Circuity making use of those plentiful 25s and some of those shards. But there's not much you can do if you take a rocket to the face in that small corridor. Circuity has a decent stack going on for him. Hits a solid full, full powered next. Which I will also note. Um, I've mentioned this before, but the Nex is uh, is not fully charged all the time. You do have to wait for a two fully charged in Xenotic. This is unlike Nexius, when every single shot was a full-powered shot. And we have a 12-12 match here with 20 seconds remaining. You can see the calm determination in Circuity's aim. Definitely tell he was waiting for Nifrik to be dead center in those crosshairs uh, before hitting the trigger. Doesn't look like Nifrik fell for the fake laser, but um, we're going into a second overtime. No rules changes here. Same two minutes. Person with the most frags at the end of these two minutes wins. Right now, Circuity has, well, just as soon as I say that, Nifrik pulls out another frag to tie it up at 13. One minute, 30 seconds remaining in this second overtime. How crazy is this? Circuity picking up some little health, some shards. Oh, what an, what an amazing takeaway of that mega health. Great laser work there. That really shows you um, the finesse in some of the movement that experience on this map will get you. Okay, so one minute warning. 13-13. Both players looking dogged. Flies around. He is fully stacked now. 43 seconds remaining. He's fully stacked and he's going to go and hunt for Nifrik who is dodging back and forth in the warp zone wisely, <laughs> waiting for waiting for Circuity to, uh, to come down a little bit. Oh! Awesome frag. 14-13 Circuity with only 18 seconds remaining. Can Nefric pull it off? At this point, it looks like Circuity is trying to, to back away and evade, which is a decent tactic, given how strong of a player Nifrik is. And that's it, folks. Circuity wins the map.
Arawak 14 to 13 over Nifrik in double overtime. Can you believe that? Double overtime. Was that awesome or what? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this this uh, this match between these two awesome players. Uh, I'm Antibody, and uh, you're watching Zenotic 0.6. Uh, come in, see more, subscribe to my channel, or stop by and say hi at forums.zenotic.org. Happy fragging, everyone. Bye.